Neverwinter fans, this is a great way to get guild marks. If your guild leadership is cool with it, this will help. If you like what I'm sharing, please subscribe and watch all of it. I have more helpful video links in the description below too. All right, well, to get guild marks, you need to donate to your guild's coffer. Make sure you use the double events. It's important. If you have a cool guild leadership, you can hold on to at least some of the vouchers, influence, and other items you acquire to donate during the event. I still like to donate some on other days just to help out, even though I'm not required to. My guild is cool. They don't have quotas. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. This is the mimic. You have different things. I like to donate. I like to donate adventure shards of power and influence. They're very easy. Easy to get this stuff. It's quick and I like quick. So the adventure shards of power. Let me show you a couple quick things on that. This is more about what I like to do. There are other ways to do this, but I'm sharing my way with you. You have the cleric. You can pick this up. I like to do those fast little dungeon runs. I have a video link about how I like to do that below too, to get my shards of power. That's one way to do it. Another one I like to do is go to the Master of Coin right here. And for instance, I have the Dread Ring support. I can pick up more shards of power here too. quick and easy and it fits in with things I'm already doing. Now getting influence is easy, even for fresh players, because your guild, if it's a good one, will help keep you in the fight because you can form groups to help you make it through the end. And they want guild marks too, so they want to get it done fast and they'll keep you in the game. Some of the events I like to do are storming the castle. That's a great weekly event. I'll turn it in here. I was saving this for you. This is where I like to get my major influence vouchers and you also get a blood ruby. It's non-account bound. You can sell it or use it. And of course, 4,500 rough astral diamonds. Very cool stuff. So I get that there. And I like to get influence from heroic encounters like Marauders. These are fun guild events that will give you lots of influence and some vouchers that you can turn around and donate for guild marks. I also like to use the Quartermaster enchantment on my utility slots. You can pick those up quick and easy from the auction house. Level 8 is pretty good. You can get scavenge supplies. They're not crazy expensive, but it's sufficient to get what you need. And you can donate those as surplus equipment. If I remember, I'll show you real quick. I have a character that can do that. You can also donate other cheap purple items that you pick up on the way. You can donate blue items. Uh, another fun thing I like to do is to, you can donate labor, which is another great way to get some guild marks. You can donate epic professions persons. Go to your auction house again. Go to professions. And they're a little expensive right now. You don't want to buy these during the event to donate them. Typically, select on epic. We'll go to schedule leather working. They're going to be more expensive than they normally are. I usually just like to pay a few thousand astral diamonds for these. Yeah, they're they're like way up there right now. Twenty nine thousand is too much. But buy these a couple of weeks after an event, and uh, the prices will drop down to a more manageable level. But you can donate those and get lots of guild marks. The secret is out there. Other players know about this, so the prices have gone way out. As we were talking about influence, I have six hundred here. I'll just throw that in. I got twice as many because it's a 2x event. And these major influence vouchers, I'll toss that in. It's another quick almost 5,000 Astro Diamond. They stack so they don't take up a lot of extra room in the inventory, which is really nice. Throw in some shards of power. If you notice they were all giving me two times the amount. Let me just show you the Quartermaster supplies real quick. I just decided to make that video at the last moment, but I already donated my great weapon fighters equipment. But here we go, I have discarded equipment. I can open those for useful items, or I can donate them 
See, that's a quick, easy way to get another thousand guild marks. Clear up some room in my inventory, and voila, easy peasy, just like that. Again, this is how I do it, and I wanted to share it with you. I hope that made sense. This is what I do, and I hope it helps you. Please subscribe, and thanks for watching.